The Power Apps attachment control stopped working last week. You can no longer take it, copy it from a form, and then put it in your app in order to make it for uploads, right? Like it's the way that the whole world uploads things since some genius invented how to do that in 2019, and now it doesn't work. So I went back to the drawing board today and I said, okay, well, if that doesn't work, it's broken. We don't know when they're gonna fix it. Hopefully they're going to fix it. How can we make it still work? And so I've got a great, easy to use workaround. It just takes a little dragging. So let's jump over to my desktop and take a look. All right, just so you're all aware, right? Like one of the things we do when we upload files, if you've never done it before, is when you go to add a file, right? We add the attachment control and you can click here. Oh, if we hit play, we can click here and then we can attach any file we want. Boom, it works, right? And so the way we do that is we steal the attachment control from a form. So let's switch over to a brand new app. And so step one is you add a SharePoint list. So you go here to add data, you search for SharePoint, you click on SharePoint here, and then over here you're gonna click on any SharePoint site and then choose basically any list in the world. It doesn't matter as long as it has attachments, which all SharePoint lists do, right? So you do that, you then insert a form, and then you choose your SharePoint list, and then you click on the form, you go to edit fields, you add a field, and you find the attachments field, it's right here at the top, add it. And then look, that's the only way to get this attachment control. It's silly, but for years it's been the only way to do it. So you click on the control, you hit control C, you click out of the form, you hit control V, and then we would fix this thing up, right? We can delete the form and everything. The problem is the paperclip is gone, right? If we switch back to the other one, the lovely little paperclip here is what drives the ability to attach. So if we switch back, like there's no paperclip. If you try to click in here, like you can't do it. It doesn't work. And so what we found out was late last week, they broken this ability to copy and paste this control. You can't do copy code and paste it. You can't copy the control. You can't even copy the control inside of a form, right? Which I thought would work. No form of copy and paste works. I have ideas what it is. I'm gonna keep them to myself because I might be to blame. But what I figured out today was, all right, what is the workaround? So the workaround is if we go here, let's just make a new screen. Let's insert that same form. I guess I shouldn't have deleted it, right? Insert the employee's form again, and then add the attachments control again, right? So we boom, boom, boom. And so you cannot copy it, right? We just proved that doesn't work. What I figured out though, because I'm crazy man, and I just tried everything until I found something that worked. If you click on the card, right, in here, you see the little paperclip, data card value 21 is what it's called in this case. So you can't copy, but what you can do now with the new Power Apps, right, is you can click on hold and then drag it. And if you drag it outside of the form, like so, right, it throws all these errors, but the errors have always been there, right? You just have to delete out all the errors, right? So it's like, hey, items is mad, so you get rid of that. Edit the formula bar, you change the color to be color dot black, like that. And then you delete the tooltip, I believe. Yep, delete that. And then ultimately you go ahead and put in the uh, display mode equals edit, right? So there you go. And so then it's happy. And once again, now if we hit play, we can say attach file and we can attach our Power Apps bugs document. Woohoo! You can still then delete the form. And if you delete the form, then it's like, oh, I'm mad about that. Then you just change this to B5, right? It's just a Y property, right? So there you go. It is dragging and dropping it out of it will work, All right? So this is pretty cool because Microsoft has a bug. They don't even know this workaround. I'm about to share it with them too. If we switch over to the admin center, we can see the bug, right? So 509-6864 is the bug. And like, it's funny, they're saying it's not designed to work outside of a form. So. I said, I'm not sure they know what's broken, but that's all right. That's why I'm here. I'm going to share this video with them so they can fix it as well. So there you go. That's how you fix it. If you don't know how to upload files today, I'll put a link to the video up there. And I'm also going to remind all of you, right? Like this video and subscribe this video. So that way it gets broader reach. And if you're subscribed, you would have gotten notified the moment I put out this fix. But I can tell you that literally hundreds of you have already messaged me like, hey, how do we fix this? How do we fix this? Here you go. All right. With that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day.